Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we died! What are we gonna do now? That sounds like Lindblom music! Alright! Well, yeah, they don't have homes to go to anymore, so might as well make their homes in the castle. Oh, there you go. Oh, how nice. Well, I thought they were citizens of Alexandria now. Or maybe we gave it back. A chew here? No, no. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're not engineers. Well, I'm an engineer, but not those guys. And even then, I'm the only, I only know how to build the damn thing. I don't know how it works. They didn't kind of teach us that in college. Oh, and everyone, or, well, I, at least, survived! Well, there we go! How did I get out of there in time? You're not going to tell us, are you, game? Well, let's take a look around. Hey, hey, all right! We're still in one piece, and of course we survived the explosion without a scratch on me. Yeah, how did I get here? Hmm. Well, let's uh, go collect some treasure here. Now that it's been refilled, we got the Egoist Armlet. One of the best armlets in the game. Uh, nice thing about that one is that it has really a uh, pretty high combination of evade and magic evade. So a lot of other armlets in the game are more inclined towards one or the other. But I really like the Egoist Armlet. It also has uh, shadow elemental protection. So that's pretty nice too. Um, no, no, no letters for you, but, uh, oh, sure, why not? Okay, sounds like a plan. Well, let's see, oh, hey, Blank, how's it going? Well, I'm in one piece, apparently. Um, let's see, how did I get here? Yeah, what happened? Ah, well, I suppose we were okay. Ah, so after that huge explosion, no one got hurt! Everyone's okay! Haha! <laughs> well, I suppose this is a Final Fantasy game, but yeah. Oh, nuts. Well, I thought I was okay. Oh, okay, so that's how we escaped. Well, there you are. Oh. Really? Wow. That's uh, a lot of sleep there. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we would uh, go there then. But what happens if I ask him, where's Dagger? Things proceed a little differently if you do that, so I might as well go with that. Oh, she wants to take a look at a telescope. Oh, there we go. Uh, what about Sid? Oh, I guess he's not going to tell us to see Sid, I guess. Yeah, let's see what washed ashore here. Hey, it's Kina! But, what's going on? Oh no, not Kina. Well, I guess he did kind of commit suicide back at Trino there. How'd he get all the way over here? Well, I suppose the ocean currents must have carried him over here. Oh no. Oh, no. Nuts. Oh, wait! Hey! He's alive! All right! Yeah, yeah, they weren't gonna, you know, throw him away out of our party like that. Hey, how's it going? Give me food! Ha 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 ha! Oh, Kina, you're always good for a laugh. Okay, no one around here says anything new or interesting, so let's just head on up the elevator to find Dagger at the, our telescope. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do around here. If you try going back to town, well, they'll block your way, so let's just head on up to the to the telescope. But... Ding! I like how the elevator has a little ding noise there. Your floor, sir. Oh, it's nice to know that the lift operation is still working fine. Good job! Uh-oh. Music got all quiet all of a sudden. 
Seems ominous. Yeah, it does seem like a nice place to be on duty here. Got a nice view and everything. Hey, hey! Dagger! She's alive! Well, I'm okay now. So, you can uh, take care of your booty duty. What's wrong? Oh, I, I guess she's not in the mood to talk. <laughs> oh, Zidane. Well, you don't need to worry about me anymore. I'm all in one piece. At least all the important parts, anyway. Yeah, I mean, all those people died. Yeah, cheer her up. Let's go on an... Oh, right, we can't go on an airship cruise. Um, hmm. We can go for a walk. Or look at the telescope. What do they have a telescope up here for, anyway? I mean, it didn't seem to help during the invasion. I mean, I would think that would be kind of the point. Oh, huh? okay. Nuts. Oh, well, thank you for not telling me. Hey, what's going on? My bad. Hmm. Yeah, you only get this ATE if you chose, uh, what is it? Or you asked blank uh, where... Uh, dagger is so there you go well <laughs> yeah just a little ATE that they got there I like the ATEs they have in the game though it gives a little more flavor to the game a little more perspective okay well let's go down and uh, go talk to Sid then I don't know what he wants to talk about hey Blink how's it going yo you're stalking me just like the Maker Tree? No. No, that's another game. What's going on? Blank? You, did you draw a blank? No. Nanya! Or whatever the kids are saying nowadays. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, where else would he be? Okay, well, let's go pay a visit to Sid then. Which I've been saying for the last five minutes. Game, can I move now? Thank you. Eh, yeah, none of the guards around here say anything interesting either. The guards around here just aren't really interesting in general. But I suppose they are guards, so... Oh, well. Yeah, how's it going, Sid? What do you mean, I have a wake? I'm the hero. Well, I am the main character, but I'm a thief. Kind of odd that they would make a thief, like, the best DPS character in the game, but... It works! I like it. Because that way at least you have a thief at all times throughout the game. Well, what are we going to do? We have no army. What, you're just going to have our ragtag group of heroes try to save the world? Well, aren't you going to come with us, Sid? Whoa! What was that? Whoa, holy crap! nice throne you got there, Sid. Comfortable chair. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit up here so that way you all have to look up at me in my magnificence. Yeah, yeah, she's probably still uh, playing with her telescope. Oh. Yeah, we don't need a six-year-old to help us plan to save the world. Shouldn't we have, like, generals here? Or, you know, someone who, you know, can really knows about military strategy or anything? Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose that's why Dagger's here. I was gonna say, shouldn't she be back in Alexandria? I mean, she is kind of the ruler of the kingdom, but I suppose not anymore. I suppose it does you no good to be the king if you have no subjects. Oh, no. Well, you could have stabbed her in the back, but I don't know how much good that would have done. Yeah, you should have let uh, Beatrix be the, uh, the uh, queen. Because we can't have a king in Alexandria. Maybe the queen is the one in charge there. Well, there you go. I just feel so relaxed today for some reason. Hmm. Well, I suppose, you know, with all the kingdoms, all destroyed, you know, there's, well, not much to get excited about, I guess. 
Maybe it's just the way my energy is today. Oh, man. What happened? To oh, we don't know what happened. You're not going to tell us, are you, game? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. Yeah, what? He, he's destroyed pretty much the whole known world. I mean, what does he want? How can we fight back? Well, where can we find them? Yeah, that would be a, a good first step. What do you mean? Well, he apparently doesn't have that eye in the sky anymore, so that helps. What did you see when we were escaping? He was on your airship? And black mages? No. It can't be. Were they in league with him the whole time? Have we been led astray this whole... Like, since the second half of the disc, or... Like, whenever we met those black mages? Oh, man. How did he get that airship? What would he need that for? He's got his flying dragon. Um, I guess maybe he needs cargo room. I wouldn't think Kuja had a whole lot of junk in his trunk, but... Well, there you go. I love how they give, uh, the villain his own ATE to sort of give him more development and everything like that. You know, they got to do that more in RPGs. But like, like uh, and also all the background that they give him too. A lot of dialogue for Kuja, especially on disc three, so. Apparently, is Garland a good guy or a bad guy? I mean, I, well, I guess he's a bad guy. He did destroy all of Alexandria, but apparently maybe they got we got multiple bad guys to deal with. But which one is the bad guy and the real bad guy? Hmm. And Zorn and Thorn are on his side, too. Well, I suppose that should have been obvious since they did kind of, uh, you know, rape Dagger there, pretty much. Nuts. What are those guys doing there? What does he need with them, anyway? Couldn't you just create more? You can create monsters out of thin air. Huh. And I also like how they... Th that one line there where Kuja says he has to get some rest. You know, it makes him seem more human. In, in addition to all the other background that they give him with, you know, the... Uh, what is it? The auction house and everything like that. You know? It, it, as opposed to making the bad guys seem like some godly immortal wizard who, you know, doesn't have to use a bathroom at all or anything like that, or anything remotely human. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Hilda is in league with uh, Kuja there. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well, if only there were a way we could make Sid human again. And we don't have an airship. Nuts. How did we get back here anyway? Oh, right, they said we took a boat. That's right. Well, there we go. Yeah, I suppose the dock was pretty far down. I wonder if that would have been spared from the destruction. Sorry, I'm going through this a little quickly today, but there's a lot of dialogue here, so if you really want to read absolutely every single word, well, you can pause if you want. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff to go through. Well, at least we're all in one piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're they're okay. They're okay. They're just, you know, having some girl time, I guess. Stay away from them. Oh, she said, hey, guys. What's going on, Aiko? Yeah, as rumbustious as ever. What's up with Dagger? What's wrong? Find out next time and let's play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.